Well, here's what's going on. Intelligence officers, officials this morning reporting that a major plot is already underway and terrorists are already in place, ready to strike. Peter Ducey is live in Washington with the very latest. Peter, good morning. Good morning, Anna. That's right. The latest update we have is that terrorists are in place, ready to carry out what is being described as a major plot. That's based on a new CBS News report describing the intelligence we have that prompted the United States to close 22 embassies and consulates around the world. This intelligence is reportedly very specific and relates directly to an al-Qaeda-affiliated threat. It is more specific, and we are taking it seriously, um, which I think you'd expect us to do. Yeah, there, there is a, a significant threat stream, and we're reacting to it. Those specifics are still a secret at this early hour. Dempsey declined to give more details other than to say that Western interests are in danger. And based on the embassies and consulates that are now closed, those Western interests appear to be mostly in the Middle East and North Africa. And that is why a worldwide travel warning is in place for all Americans for the first time since September 2011, the 10-year anniversary of the attacks that killed nearly 3,000 Americans in New York. Northern Virginia and Pennsylvania. President Obama is celebrating his 52nd birthday at Camp David. He played golf before he left and the White House said before departing this morning the president was updated on the potential threat occurring in or emanating from the Arabian Peninsula by assistant to the president for homeland security and counterterrorism Lisa Monaco. He will continue to be updated through the weekend and we expect President Obama to return to the White House on schedule later today. Back to you. All right, Peter, right, thanks Peter. a lot.